How to make the door line stand out a little bit, the, the door edges stand out a little bit more. I'm using these markers here, which are washable. So whatever I put on there, if I don't like it, I can wipe it off. Or I can tone it down if it's too heavy. That's what I did here. It was heavy on here when I first put it on there. It was, looked too heavy. And I wiped it off a little bit. This is gray, is what I'm using. As you can tell, they've got all kinds of colors. And they're washable, pins, fine line, sortable colors. We are learning to read. But you gotta take your time with it. Like I got a little too high right there. I'll just wipe that off. But I'm leaving some. Once I get completed, and I'll clear coat it, and that will be protected from water or anything wiping it off. And these air vents here on the hood, if you want to make some shadowing underneath. Give it a little shadow. And take some of that off. Helps it stand out a little bit. Just got a little bit of water on here, on the rag. And once I get the decals on the hood, and um, 
do the either chrome or rubber around the windshield and everything then I'll clear coat it and I got the grill to do okay I am painting the uh, hardware on here I just did the door handles but I'm fixing to do the headlights did the radiator cap I'm fixing to do the headlights around the headlights but I wanted to make sure I got it real straight but I wanted to share something with you Sometimes this tape can, the adhesive on it can be a little strong. It's real sticky, extra sticky. And when you put it on your paint, if it hasn't had a chance to harden, sometimes it takes a week or so to harden, then there's a little trick you can do. And what I did is I made me a puffer. It's got baby powder in it, got holes in the end. And what I'll do is I'll take a piece of tape off and I'll lightly puff it. You may not be able to see it, shake it a little bit, and then just puff it. You don't need a whole lot on there, but you need enough to where the stickiness of the tape has been toned down some. Now it's still sticky, and you can feel it in your fingers, but it's not as sticky. Then you can cut what you need to use and tape it on there. Less chance of pulling your paint off because it takes a week or two for the paint to get real hard. That was the problem I had on the fenders on the bed is this, the adhesive on the tape was too strong and pulled up my original paint. But this is the headlight ring. And I want to try to make sure I got it as straight as I could. And my freehanding is not near as good as it used to be. Silver metallic. It's going to take two coats. If I need to move the tape, it comes up easier. You're sticking just enough to give me that guidance I need. I'd let that dry, put another coat. But yeah, we used to use that trick back during my body shop and painting days. And we'd be two-tone in a van or a car or a truck, and customer needs it right away. You gotta paint, you gotta tape it up for that second color. And the other paint is only dried overnight. It hadn't hardened yet. So we'd take that tape and stick it on some dust or something before we put it on the uh, that fresh paint. Okay, that's got to dry some. Then I'll put a second coat. Okay, it took two or three coats to get it all on there because it's metallic and it didn't cover up quick. But anyhow, it's dried a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and pull the tape off. And let's just see how well it did. 
so it's not near as sticky as it's sticky but not as near as sticky as being fresh and I could touch up a few little spots if I needed to with the blacks before I get ready to clear it but when I get ready to clear it I got to tape up the windows again Okay, these are not the water soluble stickers like they used to use years ago. I don't even know if they even have them anymore. Yeah, I better tape it down. I want it to move while I'm working. It's a little high, but I think it'll it'll do. That one's up there kind of high too. I am drying the last coat. I think there was like three coats I put on there. Maybe four. And then I'm gonna start putting the uh, red. The color wouldn't work right, so I ended up having the tint, the brown, and the red together. Mix it together, kind of tone it here. And uh, I think once it dries, it's going to be okay. And then I got to put the little grill pieces in there, which would make it look a lot nicer. These pieces right here. I'm going to cut them out and set them in there. And when you're removing your tape, you need to pull it backwards because it, it'll get a paint skin, skin on there. Not unless you wait. If you wait, it'll drop a few places after I pull the tape off that it didn't get covered. And I'm just kind of... Viewing the video and giving us a like or subscribing helps us to continue to want to try to bring a little bit of entertainment. Don't you agree? Thanks, buddy. See you later.